Volvo Trucks will start the production of engines tailored for the tough Euro 6 environmental standards. First off the mark is Volvo's D13 460 horsepower engine, which today powers more than one third of all Volvo trucks. Compared with today's Euro 5 standards, nitrogen oxide emissions drop by nearly 80%, and particulate emissions are halved. The Euro 6 engine will hit the market during the spring of 2013. Euro 6 is of course important as we want to contribute uh, to become a better player and to support the environmental uh, aspect of what we are doing. Let's have a closer look at the new engine. First, the exhaust gas reaches the DPF, the diesel particulate filter, where particulates are captured and burned. The flow continues to the and blue mixing box, where and blue is injected into the exhaust stream. The exhaust and and blue mix go through the two parallel SCR catalysts, where the nitrogen oxides are converted into pure nitrogen and H2O water vapour. At the end, a slip cat takes care of any remaining ammonia and the cleaned exhaust gas comes out of the tailpipe. Let's take a closer look at some of the details. In order to treat NOx, especially in cold driving conditions such as city driving, the EGR, exhaust gas recirculation, is activated. It mixes with the cold charge air in order to get less NOx in the combustion and to get a higher exhaust temperature, which is needed for good SCR functionality. Another way to increase the exhaust gas temperature is to create back pressure by means of the exhaust engine brake. Under normal and tough driving conditions, the DPF filter is self-regenerating. But in cool cycles, the catalysts and filter need some extra heat. Diesel is sprayed into the exhaust by the seventh injector. When the diesel hits the oxidization catalyst, it burns and creates heat for the filter regeneration. In the near future, Volvo will expand its range of Euro 6 engines. We start with the most frequent 13 litre engine, which is the 460 power, horsepower engine. Thereafter, of course, we will have a full range of uh, Euro 6 engines before we get into uh, legal demand for Euro 6, uh, 1st of January 2014.